Go okay, so we're going to do the vessels cranial, the arteries cranial to the heart, as well as uh, those in the thoracic limb. We start off here is the aortic arch. Coming off of it, uh, there. Coming off of it are the are the right subclavian, sorry, left subclavian, brachiocephalic trunk, which gives rise to the left and right common carotid. And here is when your vacisa starts at your right sub, right um, subclavian, yes. So start off with vacisa. First here you have your vertebral. Here is the costa cervical trunk. Here is your internal thoracic. Here is your superficial cervical. And lastly, the axillary, which goes into the thoracic limb, the branches of which are the subscapular trunk here. Um, here you see the thoracodorsal. On the other side, you have your caudal circumflex humeral. Moving on here, you have your cranial humeral, uh, cranial circumflex humeral, after which the axillary becomes the brachial. The first branch it gives off is the acute brachial. Um, the next one is the bicipital, but you don't see it here. It would be somewhere at this level here. And then going down, it gives off the collateral ulna. You see the three branches that the collateral ulna has. And then here is the superficial brachial. After the superficial brachial, you have the transverse cubital going down. Oh, do you see that there? So that's transverse cubital. Next, you have common interosseous. Have right here. And after the common interosseous, the brachial becomes the median artery, which gives off two radial branches, the first of which is here, and the second you don't see. And that's it. Median? Yeah, I said median. Oh, okay. So Perfect. median gives off two radial branches.